This is my Hoyt Scout 40 pound left hand recurve bow that I picked up at a local archery store. The limbs are a custard color and you can see the different color variations. It's a lighter to darker. And I know from past experience that the coatings they used in the 70s and the 80s always yellowed things. So I'm guessing this bow is from that period. Um, it, for being from that time, it's got some decent wear and tear. But here you can see the major damage. Looks like the previous owner used epoxy or super glue and attached a stabilizer, a limb saver, or possibly a clicket. I'm not too worried about that because my plans are to sand it down, I'm going to stain the wood, I'm going to radius the shelf, and I'm going to take these fiberglass limbs and I'm going to paint them black. Then I'm going to coat it in a satin polyurethane. So I sanded down using 60 grit sandpaper the limb. This is the unsanded side and you can see the cream color. Now when I roll it over there's the sanded side and you can see it's distinctly white. Not a bright white but it's still white. So it just shows you what age and time would do with those hardening compounds they use to coat the things. Here's the original. All right. And there's bare. And here is the completed bow with my Master Blasters and Pathfinder torch on one side of the riser and the 101st Airborne patch on the other. I installed string silencers. That's that gray and black puffy ball of yarn you see. I also installed what they call a string groove silencer on the upper and lower limbs. 550 cord is my wrist sling. You see the leather saddle for my hand grip. And we'll move around to the other side here so you can see the 101st patch. I also rounded off the shelf. This will give you a better view of the 101st side of the riser. I took the 101st badge and I inlaid it, which means I took a Dremel tool and I just routed out the shape of the badge, put it in there and epoxied it. You got a better look at the leather saddle and my 550 cord for my wrist grip. I chose the 550 cord to keep it up with the military themes because man, we use that stuff for everything.
No clue. Plucked it. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Three hundred and forty eight feet and six inches is the nearest arrow that I can see. Three forty eight, three sixty three, three sixty three, two of them at three seventy seven. Two of them at 444 feet, exactly. Next, last one's at 445 to 446. We'll measure this one right off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This three is 10. All right, from here. You can see, <laughs> black dot, that's my bag. That's how far I, the arrows traveled. Let's see how far this one went. That last shot was 459 feet. That was the farthest.